This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to create animated titles with Apple Motion. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to add an animated background behind an existing motion project. Hello, Philip. When you grow shrunk and spun the background, can you add another background like a solid color to replace the black and Final Cut? Yes, absolutely. You're about to see why no one hires me to do graphics design. So what I want to do now is I'm going to create a new group. Click an X. See this plus down here? This creates a new group. I'm going to drag it all the way to the bottom down here. And I'm going to call this just by double clicking it. I'm going to call it background. I'm going to uncheck this group and uncheck this group so I can just see the background without getting confused. If I wanted to add a solid color, you go to this drawing tool down here, click the rectangle, and let's just click, hold, and drag a rectangle. We want to have it be filled. I don't want an outline. I'm in the HUD, by the way. I want to change the color to something like this. I always make this mistake. All right. Notice that I'm still in a rectangle drawing tool. You can't change the rectangle. you got to be in the arrow tool. Select the arrow tool, then select the rectangle. I always forget to get out of the rectangle tool. Uncheck outline, check fill, and change the color. I'm going to change it to a pale color. I don't want it feathered. I want to have it be a hard edge right there. And I don't want any rounding. So we're going to take rounding all the way off. And now when I turn on the rest, that is the ugliest blue. Good gracious. Let's just try something darker. Okay, that's better. Now we'll turn on the rest of our stuff. And now we've got a background behind it. Now the solid color ain't bad. Okay, it ain't bad. But this is so 1990s. You've got so much more to work with. If we go to library and go to background, here there are dozens and dozens of animated backgrounds that we can drop back there. So I'm going to take out the rectangle, highlight it, hit the delete key, highlight it, hit the, I'm going to uncheck it, stupid, there we go. Highlight the background. Now let's look for something which is more visually interesting. Let's look for, I haven't used, uh, what haven't I used recently? All right, we'll go with this one. We'll go with Heavenly and drag this background in. And now look at I've got a textured background, but it's too bright for whatever reason. Apple makes all these bright backgrounds. I want to have dim, dark backgrounds that makes text jump. So I can either select the background, go to the inspector, go to properties, and turn the opacity down, which is okay. Or I can go to the, to the filters, go to color correction, go to gamma, which controls mid-tone gray, and show the HUD, F7, and pull the gamma setting down. And, and now, with the gamma setting and the uh, opacity, I can make that look a little bit more interesting. There we go. So now I've got animated textured background behind there, which is more than just a flat color. You could, apply, you could replace this with particle systems. You, there's all kinds of stuff you could put back there to make it really visually interesting. You're not limited to a flat color. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to create animated titles using Motion 5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 202. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.